Hi, I'm Kate from Brain Wellness Spa, and today I'm interviewing one of our lovely clients, Buck. He's actually over in LA, and he's been um, completing our emotional empowerment program via virtual visits. So, Buck, thanks for coming online with me today. Can you explain a little bit about who you are and what you do? Sure. First off, uh, thank you so much for having me do this because when I talk about it, I'm going to just freak out because it's so amazing. But my name is Buck Angel and I, um, so a little bit of my background, I think it is kind of important on some level. I'm a transgender man. So I was born female and I transitioned to a man 25 years ago and I live fully as a man. Now my work in the world is sexual wellness. I create sexual wellness products for transgender men. And I also am a, a motivational, inspirational speaker. And that, that's mostly comes from my space as a transgender man and how I survived and became the person I am today. Basically traveling the world telling my story. It's how I met you guys, because I was in Perth speaking and I got connected to your program. Yeah, amazing. You're doing um, incredible work. So what made you first come into the Brain Wellness Bar? Who connected you and um, what kind of reason did you have to want to come in and work on yourself? Great. So uh, when I was speaking for an organization in Perth and one of the men who was running the organization said to me, oh, I met this amazing woman. She does this amazing because we were just talking about mental health care and all the things that I talk a lot about it. So she, he said, oh, my gosh, I met this amazing woman named Terry and she created this program called the Brain Wellness. And he started going into it. And I was like, wow, that sounds so perfect for what because backtrack, I have been really in the mental health field for myself, really really doing a lot of therapy. Probably I've been in therapy for 30 years, really, because I'm also sober 30 years. And so I really used mental, and also for transitioning as a trans person, you know, mental health is really important. But what I felt like, I felt like mental health was in that particular genre of like therapy and psychoanalysis and all of that, it just wasn't working for me. So I, I immediately got so excited when he was telling me about this and he took me over to meet Terry. So that's how I, first got introduced to it because I was just like wow this sounds incredible yeah wow that's amazing so can you tell us a little bit about some of the maybe trauma that you were dealing with or what kind of mental health issues you were dealing with that you wanted to seek help for sure so so like I said I'm really about mental health it's helped me a lot I had a lot of depression as a youngster I had suicide attempts I was an alcoholic and a drug addict and it all really really stemmed from my transition from a woman to a man but again I'm 57 years old and I transitioned 25 years ago we didn't have a lot of what we have today so 25 30 years of going to a therapist and going to mental health and, you know and I went for it mostly because I just feel like it's part of transitioning from one gender to another. And I feel like it really helps stabilize my brain on some level in order to move forward and not have all these anxiety and fears and things that every human being has. But I felt like I had it in a, on a different way. It just stopped working. So I, I, I have a very, very, very bad insomnia. Like so bad, it's, it's actually debilitating on and it's getting worse. And I don't know if it's my age, I don't know if it's testosterone because I have to actually inject testosterone every week. I don't know if it's my anxiety from work. I don't know what it is, but it's just getting worse. And so really that's the main, one of the main reasons that I seek mental health care right now and that I sought out this program because I think this, the man who I was talking to told me he had bad insomnia too, and it worked for him and it literally changed his life. So I was like, what? Let me see that program. <laughs> so it sounds <laughs> came in with um, a pretty open mind. Um, yes. Tell us a little bit about your first session and um, how you felt during the session and then what your thought process was straight after. Sure. So I don't know what to expect, right? You just, you never know. I know what to expect when I go to a therapist. I'm so versed on it now. And I think that's the problem. When I go to a therapist, I already know what's, and it's just this, it felt like the same thing over and over, the same questions, the same this. I didn't feel that there was something, there was something missing. I've done so many, so I've done Landmark. I've done so many self-help programs that I get stuff from, right? And tools, but but, the, but those tools ended up not really taking me to that next level. 
So when I walked into this, I had no idea what to expect. First off, it was amazing, it, the, the energy. I'm an energy person. I'm very attached to energy and I can feel it. On some level, I think I'm an empath. And so I just felt the energy in your, in your space and it was so beautiful and amazing. That was the first thing I noticed. And energy is everything to me. And so then I was like, okay, this still feels very awesome. Then I went into Terry's room and we talked a bit. So she just wanted to know what's going on with me, just very much like therapy on some level. Um, she's so kind and beautiful and we just connected immediately and she was taught I wanted to know about the program and she told me about how her situation how she created it, and it to be honest with you it sounds really out there mm. I won't lie about that at all it sounds out there but any kind of program that's gonna be new and really take things that haven't been done before is always gonna sound that way and I'm the man who always likes to try something new it might not work it might it might work but you're not going to know unless you try it. So the opportunity to try this was huge for me. And so then I was, I was excited on some level because the way she was explaining it, I could never explain it to you right now because it's so, it's so, it's kind of like so deep. But so I was like, okay, what do I have to lose? Whatever. So I did my first session there and I, you know, I, went into such a deep space that I couldn't even believe when I came out of it. I don't sleep. I have insomnia. And that put me out within probably the first 10 minutes of laying there doing the thing. I was out. I, I remember I literally, my, I went black and I went like black nicely, just calm. And I went out until I like came out of it. And I think I came out of it because Terry tapped my foot or something like that. And then I came out of it and I was like, what just happened? It was magic. <laughs> It really, that was my first session. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, you go into a really relaxed state. It's amazing. Yeah. So um, was that kind of the first time you would experience that relaxed state in years? Like how long did um, it Yeah, because I, I, I meditate, but again, because I'm so anxious and so it's, for me, it's very hard to meditate. I have a very hard time with it, but I really try to focus and get myself there. But I honestly, I hadn't ever been in that state before. Mm -hmm. I haven't. So it was so mind blowing for me. And it was so, and again, I was on a speaking tour and if you know, speak, my speaking tours are very stressful because I speak about my life and it's very emotional and I have to give myself a lot. And you, and you, you probably know that as, as being in this kind of work, but when you give yourself that much, you've got to get some rest the next couple of days. And so this one was such a hardcore speaking tour. I was one after another that this was so perfect because I was already like, and it just took me to that space of it got rid of, I have a lot of talking in my head, right? Blah, blah, blah. It took out the talking. Yeah. It just uh, built. The very first session? Yes. <laughs> the very first. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, this is great. I mean, honestly, I didn't believe that I could get to that space in one session. It was weird. It was like, and I was hooked. After that, I was totally hooked. Awesome. So you're pretty much um, like three quarters of the way through your emotional empowerment program. When did you first start seeing um, the results in your everyday life, whether it be how you were reacting to certain like usual triggers or um, something like that? Yeah. So I would say, so wait, how, how long am I, I started in the first of when was that? So I've been in, how many sessions have I gone through? Six? I think you started in February, March, and it's yeah. now almost end of April. So you've had at least about 10 sessions, I think. I would say that it really started to work with me in the last two weeks is when I really started to feel more connected to it and more connected to you guys in the program. Now I'm doing virtual. So I'm not in Australia. I'm in Los Angeles. So that's a whole other space, right? Like I'm actually doing virtual therapy but it's working but i really felt honestly the most the most two weeks in and then th then just this last week i broke through i made a huge breakthrough that was just so wow like just so wow <laughs> can you tell us a bit more about it and how yeah. um, it, can you explain what it was and why you sure. thought it was such a huge deal for you so like I said, I have major insomnia. And so I was, I don't know where my insomnia came from, but as I was talking to um, Rachel, this was a session I had with Rachel, and Rachel was, we were just talking, how's your day? Like she asked, and, da, da, da. and then I just realized, you know, I haven't really spoken about this horrible divorce I had five years ago. I had a horrible divorce, really. I mean, I, don't, I can't go into it because it's so deep and intense, but it literally took me out because I was married to this person for 10 years. 
they took everything from me and my and and everything it was just really devastating for me and i haven't let go of it and that's when my insomnia started and i really realized oh with rachel like my insomnia started through this trauma and she's like you have ptsd and i'm like i totally do and she and then it was like a breakthrough like i literally figured out this is why i'm not sleeping because I cannot seem to let go of that situation. I'm angry about it, I'm depressed. I'm still, five years later, I, I still have a lot of animosity towards her, a lot, of, a lot of the things that I know I'm supposed to release, but I haven't. I put it, I compartmentalized it on some level and just put it over here so I could survive and take care of myself. And so that was a huge breakthrough. And when I did, and then so my next session yesterday with Ryan, we worked on it because I, he's, he was looking at my chart, right? And we were talking about it and he was telling me what I should be doing. And I was like, wow, you're so right, dude. And then literally he's like, I think we were doing trauma session or something. And then he said, we're going to work on this right now. And this is so crazy. But I went into my thing with my, with my music and my eyes shut. And he just started to do his thing. And I just started to cry. It was so powerful like i don't just cry out of nowhere i am a very sensitive man but it was like he wanted me to work on that in my brain to to release her because i haven't released her and i literally started to think about he said think about all the great things that you got from that and then i did it was so weird the way my tears came because it wasn't like i'm just gonna cry i didn't even know i was gonna cry it just was so incredibly powerful. And I felt like I got to a next level and I slept like a baby. He couldn't wake me up. He could not wake me up. <laughs> That's amazing. You're having such good results already and you haven't even finished yeah. the program. So yeah. how would you describe how you're feeling now compared to when you, before you first came in? Oh, I feel more attached to my brain on some level. I feel more calm on a lot of times. I feel like I have a more skill to understand when anxiety is coming. And also, you know, I have, I have anger. I do have anger that comes. I've worked on it for years, but sometimes it just comes. And now I've kind of learned, like I can tell when it's coming. And I can rationalize it and know like, if I don't take care of this right now, it's gonna totally become a bad situation. So I feel like I'm getting these tools to understand my brain, if that makes sense on some level. I just feel, I feel calmer and I feel more focused in the midst of a pandemic, by the way. COVID-19 is happening, which took my anxiety level that way. Right? We all lost jobs, like my traveling ended. My work relies on me traveling the world. So that ended and so, really even in the midst of COVID-19 this is still on some level working in a way that I don't necessarily know if traditional therapy would be doing the same thing for me I mean that's just how I feel yeah and how do you think you would have coped with the current pandemic and um, losing your work if you hadn't mm -hmm. if you're not going through this program if you hadn't been right right i don't think i would be coping the way i am i think i would be much angrier i think i'd be much more resentful i think i would have no sleep <laughs> i mean i literally before i started this program i would sleep for two hours two hours get up have to walk around have to maybe eat something you know this that and then go back to sleep it was two hours up. sleeping two hours up two hours sleep. that was my sleeping pattern for years now and so I think my sleeping pattern is I literally sleep for five hours straight now, which is unbelievable. For me, it's unbelievable. That's a massive contrast. <laughs> yes. And it, you know, no sleep will kill you. You and I both know that it will kill you. And I mean, physically kill you as well as mentally kill you. And you know, I have to be on all the time. I'm a public speaker. I'm out there having to motivate people. And if you're like, you just don't have the same drive, you know, that, that, and I'm also really healthy. I work out, I eat right. I don't do drugs and alcohol. I'm really focused on all of that. So to not have sleep is, is so detrimental on so many. And I know a lot of people out there, a lot of people do not sleep. It's a very common thing. I think it is common. We see a lot of people come in with that. So I'm so happy for you that you're getting some snooze into your life. Um, <laughs> I want to ask you as well. Um, you know, has I don't know if you've been seeing many people with um, COVID nineteen, but has anyone noticed a difference or commented on a difference in you? 
oh yeah, I have a girlfriend. And so I do, I do, I'm around her. I'm not around many people, but my girlfriend and I, oh yeah, she says, I think it's working. Your sleep is actually changing. You know, when you have a partner and you're trying to sleep, the partner also suffers from that. And so I have this weird, this is for sure PTSD because Rachel even said, and even Ryan, I said, I have this insanity where my body does this when I sleep. Like it just, it won't stop. I have so much energy. It's like, it's like, I jerk and I jerk and I jerk and, I, and nobody can sleep with me. <laughs> I'm literally all over the place. And that's a weird thing to be like, I mean, I like my friend, I jerk like this. Like, what is that? That's like such trauma stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. And I don't know if you're comfortable talking about your relationship, but do you think you working on yourself has made your relationship better? Oh yeah, because I'm a big fan of that. Anyway, I'm a big fan of always working on myself. And I think he, as humans, we never can stop doing that. Once you say I'm better, you're not. <laughs> there's no, I don't really know if there's any really such thing that said, even if you're not doing this program, you're doing something or you're doing, you know what I mean? So, so with my uh, partner, with my girlfriend, she completely notices a difference in me. You know, now I wish this COVID thing wasn't happening because I think I could have not better results, but results that might be a little different if I did and have this sort of thing but I kind of think it's interesting that I get to do this program why this really insane thing is happening because if I'm really getting stuff out of it when we are in a pandemic could you imagine if we weren't in a pandemic I think how much faster this program would probably work for me yeah definitely and there's so much um, news articles coming out about how there's going to be a second wave of mental health struggles after the pandemic so I think it's the most important time to be invested yes. in mental health. Um, but also, you know, when you were transitioning, that would have been really hard on your mental health, as you said before. So what advice could you give to people who are transitioning about, you know, seeking help for their mental health during that time? So that's one of my biggest platforms is I talk a lot to the younger trans, you know, they call me trampa <laughs> because, because I'm an old trans man. So I'm trampa to the community worldwide. And so the kids do come to me and, and seek advice. And so I am so big on mental health care. Many people, especially youngsters, don't think they need mental health care and think that they could just transition with testosterone and surgery and all you will make the biggest mistake in your life if the first thing that you don't do is going to see any type of therapy, whether it be brain wellness or whatever. I highly suggest this. That's what I told Terry. This program could change my community on so many levels. We're suffering from anxiety, depression, suicide. There's no focus. It's very, it's not easy to be transgender if that makes sense. It's just not, even though it's accepted, even though it's, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm older, the younger generation has a lot more than what I had, but it's still very difficult to be transgender. You know, changing genders is not easy. You still look like a woman and you're a man and people call you she, and that causes a lot of anxiety for people to be misgendered. And so I am very, 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 um, very uh, much about mental health care and about bringing programs like this to my community because it will only make us better as humans and as you know as people who need to be back in society working with we're, we don't transition to be separate we transition to be a part of the world you know what i'm saying so you can't do that if your mental health care is not straight up yeah exactly and as you said having tried many different um therapies before what does it mean to you to have found the brain wellness spa and something that's, you know, working for you. Yeah, magic. <laughs> that's the first word that comes to my brain. And I'm not kidding because I've been like 30 years of therapy. And not to say my therapists or bad, one of them actually saved my life. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her really saying, yes, you are, you are definitely a man. But that said, I think that um, this program is so different on some level that I think the reason why I believe that I can really help trans people is because it's really difficult to go into a space and just start to talk about yourself with people you don't know. It is. It's a very different, and it's, I think it's a reason why a lot of people don't do mental health care, and I think it's a lot of reason why people are scared to see a therapist, because they don't want to say, I feel suicidal, I feel this. This program 
is so different. It doesn't put you in this space to have to do that right away. It, it, I don't know how to explain it other than that it, it doesn't make, it didn't make me feel as if I'm too nervous to talk about my issues or the things I need to talk about, like my divorce. It's embarrassing my divorce and it's embarrassing the way I feel about it, but everybody always makes me feel so comfortable here. And the results I'm getting so fast would have usually taken years to be, in, uh, to be honest with you, with an actual like sort of, and I don't want to say that type of therapy is a bad thing because I it is a good thing, but this is just so different. This just se seems smoother to me. And I don't know if it's just because I've been in programs for so long or it really is this way, this program. I mean, it's to me magic. Yeah, no, you've had awesome results and you've got such an incredible and powerful story. So is there anything else you would like to share with our followers that you think they might be able to take away from this um, interview? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, never be scared to try something new. That is such a really great space to be in. If you have the opportunity to do brain wellness, you won't lose out. Even if you feel like you're not getting it, you will not lose out. I guarantee you this, this thing has changed my life. And I'm a believer of trying new things. And I don't know how Terry did it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how she did it, but I think this could actually change the world. I think it could actually help so many people because people need something this deep. Our trauma is so deep. That's the one thing I learned from this program. Yeah, therapists have told me that. Yeah, psychiatrists have told me that. Yeah, I've been on antidepressants. Yeah, but, you know, they give you pharmaceutical drugs and all that crap. That doesn't do anything. It's just hiding the problem. I really feel like brain wellness is digging deep into my however long, many thousands of years of trauma that are attached to my brain. And I know people, they will hear what she says and they will see it and they'll be like, ah, that's some culty weird shit. It is not. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> Far from it. But that's the thing is people have to be willing to try things that are outside of their comfort zone and outside of the traditional medications. And so I'm all about natural medications and all those kinds. This fits to that space. It feels very natural to me and it feels as if it's actually digging to the root of the problem and not necessarily just trying to make you feel good for a while. You'll have to come back to th that's what i think sometimes about therapy are they really trying to fix you or are they really trying to just keep you sort of coming back mm. yeah well i think um it's definitely um you know such a unique um amazing incredible experience that i wish everyone could try and we're trying to push it out into the world as far as we can and now we're in la over with you so yes. it's so exciting and yes. uh, Hopefully, you know, you can refer it on to all of your community. Oh my God, this is the city. As soon as COVID. No, I'm telling you, I said to Terry, like, this is the city that, I mean, come on, LA is about yoga <laughs> and about, mental. believe me, we're all about health. Health. I mean, cannabis is legalized. We're all about doing it in a really natural way. We really are here. It's very, that's why I knew it immediately. Like, this program will probably take off here in Los Angeles. It really will. And I feel so happy and so honored to be and so grateful to even be a part of something this powerful. Yeah. And the most exciting part is that you're not even finished your program yet. So you've got more <laughs> great stuff to come. <laughs> I know, it's so cool. Yeah. So anyone who's thinking of any kind of different space that want to try, I really highly recommend the Brain Wellness. It's a beautiful program. I have nothing but great things to say about it. The thing that you must understand, though, is you have to be willing to make time to do it. You cannot say, oh, well, I'm going to do session on Thursday. I'm going to not, I'm going to reschedule my session on Friday. I have not missed one session. I make it a very specific thing that these are the most important things in my life. That's the one thing people I think mess up on. They don't create a, they don't do the program the way it's supposed to be. Sometimes they'll think, oh, I'll just take this one off. I think that's not the way to do it. I have been very focused on it, very focused on getting myself well in this. And that's really, if you're willing to do that, I think it will work for you. I think just go in it with this desire to create change in your brain. And I think you'll get something out of it. Yeah, I agree. You have to be committed and um, you have to stay focused on making your health and yourself a priority. So thank you so much for sharing your advice and your story, your incredible story. Um, I'm sure people will probably want to know more about your story. So is there anywhere where they can find you? 
Yeah, buckangel.com, or I'm on Instagram all the time, and that's Instagram, buckangel, and Twitter, buckangel, but mostly my website. You can, anyone can send me any message about this, anybody. I will talk to you, because I'm very, very connected to this program. All right, great. Well, thank you so much, Buck, and have an awesome day, and I'll hopefully catch up with you at the end of your program. Awesome. Thanks, Kate.